first episode of Let's Talk. We are students from Indy Mastic Communication Club under the IUTV, IUTV department. So this episode will be special because this is our very first episode. So the three of us, which are the general committee of the IUTV, will start off the show today. So our topic today will be on college experiences. So let's introduce ourselves before we get into the topic. So hi everyone, I'm Gokula. Hello everyone, I'm Nayara. Hi everyone, my name is Sophia. So since we are like talking about college experiences, right? I'm sure every one of us will have our first years of experiences, right? Especially during an uncertain time. And it is a question as how our experience would be. True, true. Like, for example, we were supposed to shoot this video in campus, but due to some reasons, we were unable to do so. So, like, for myself, I started studying in Inti during 2021, I would say. So, I was actually waiting for the COVID-19 restrictions to, like, loosen up. So, you know, I can experience how it would be like to study in university. But sadly, I ended up doing my first year online. So, I'm currently in my second year, still online. Um, in terms of my experience, I won't say it's the best of the best because not everyone enjoys sitting in front of their laptop 24-7. So, I'm a type of person who enjoys human interaction, like face-to-face. -face. Being stuck to a screen is just, you know, doesn't give the best of the best experience. You know what I'm saying. Yes, yes, I know. I bet a lot of us out there, even us right here, can relate to your experiences. And most of the time, like we were from on, uh, we were online like from 2020 until now. So I actually for me I had a campus experience for like two months and then after that MCO started. So um, for me when I first went to university I was nervous and scared because uh, none of my friends went to the same college or university with me. But I would say the first day of campus went out quite well for me and I met some friends and we hang out together, had lunch, did assignments and yeah, I had much fun having face-to-face -face classes. To be honest, I'm jealous of you, Sophia. I can't really. <laughs> <laughs> it, uh, your, your experience sounds amazing though. Like Even I had the same fear too, like what you said, of not getting friends to meet. Uh, since my friends and I, we went to different, different universities. So changes can be frightening, but it's part of the journey, I would say. So what about you, Nayara? Any fair share of university experience? Um, actually, for me, I don't really have a university experience. As an introvert, I would say I prefer online classes. I would try to video. And I'm currently in my second year and I haven't had the experience of being on campus, like I said earlier. Uh, university is now planning to open in the next, in the coming semester, and as you guys said earlier, everyone has that you know nervous feeling about how the first day is going to be. Like, will you be able to befriend people, etc. <laughs> as an international student, and you know the level anxiety of anxiety and the fear, it's just like you know way too extreme. Like it's it's, it's too different environment and different culture. And yeah, so the first thought that I have is like, you know, I just hope I can fit in here as soon as I can. And I want to make it, um, to make a good impression as well. Um, soon I'm going to have my first day in university. I'm looking forward actually to it since it's going to be a little bit different as I already know my classmates and lecturers, but you know, the nervousness is still present, still, still the same. And yeah, physical classes, I believe, are all going to be a completely new experience for me. Yeah. Mm, yeah. So I'll say good luck for your first class in university. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so for me, I would still prefer like physical classes than online. Because physical, physical teaching and online exams will be a win-win for me. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> For me, but yeah, online is definitely a pain for me, especially long term around, like Bokula said, sitting in front of the laptop 24-7, it's just causing me to have back pain and shoulder pain. Mm -hmm. And physical, at least you get to like walk around and stretch, 
And one thing that's very important is you get to ask questions face to face to the lecture and not online. You get to open your mic and you, you know, sometimes it feels awkward, I would say. Yeah, definitely, definitely. <laughs> So yeah, it just feels uncomfortable speaking up. I can agree actually because recently one of my lecturers, um, he asked us and the rest of my classmates to dance to a song he was presenting during class. It was super awkward. <laughs> Trust me, no one replied. Oh my god. <laughs> we feel bad nah, but <laughs> you know, dancing during class that to opening our cam, exposing our faces, like no. <laughs> it, it's one thing is embarrassing. Two, why it, it's not it's not a Zumba class or dance class for me to dance. You know, it, it's an online class. Like yeah. it was it was a very funny day that day. And um, uh, to relate with Sophia, I did experience my fair share of how offline classes went because I went back, uh, you know, for practical classes recently. So trust me when I say I have weight, I would have uh, lost a lot of weight if I had physical classes. Like literally during one of our practical classes, we traveled from one block to another to shoot for our assignment. It was so tiring but fun. It, it was fun actually. So I felt that social interaction I was dying to feel for almost a year. Like you know, meeting friends you met online, doing work together, eating together. It felt as if like I was leading a normal college life. But that just lasted for two days, sadly. <laughs> mm. Oh, so yeah. Actually, I totally agree with you, Lia, because you know, I don't know if this happened to you or if this happens to you. Um, I don't know why, but when you are required to open that mic to answer or to ask a question, in that very moment you can feel that awkwardness spreading. Like it's like Everyone is waiting for you to talk and due to that, you can't even speak well. I mean, I tend to forget <laughs> English. Can you believe this? Or I tend to make a lot of grammatical mistakes and sometimes, you know, I'll just forget what I need to say and which leads to, you know, just more embarrassing moments. And also, uh, I'll just keep having flashbacks about these moments for at the very least, maybe uh, a week, and all of a sudden, my brain will bring up those moments that that just keeps me cringing for a while. I can so relate, I to be honest. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> like the teacher oh. will be asking specifically, or not. What's worse is teacher goes one by one to answer, and then you just see where is your name on the list, and then you'll be like, okay, yes. okay. When she asks me, I'm gonna answer this, but then. The person before you answers yeah, the exact true. answer you wanted to answer, and I'm just like, okay, what am I oh, going to no. say now? <laughs> what am I gonna, I was and, you cannot, and you cannot come up with any other answer. Exactly, so I just have to say, um, Miss, um, sir, I, I actually agree with what the person be, uh, before me said. I just, 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 I just have to butcher up something. <laughs> it's, it's embarrassing sometimes, but at the same time, I'm like, the person in front of me stole my answer, what am I supposed to do? <laughs> So yeah, there's a lot of things go, goes on on online classes. It's not just about, you know... Yeah. Yeah. It's just awkward in a way and it's headache sometimes as well. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, yeah. And coming back, I think I, I quite miss the feeling of meeting new people and having a normal college life. Like I, And I also find that like our expectations don't really match to reality in our university yeah. life. Yeah, like, definitely, definitely are, agree with this. <laughs> yeah, right. Because yeah. you know we are packed with assignments most of the time, and and you know like those dramas and TV shows like they can just show like how fantasy the uni life are in their mm. in their life, and they can like find a boyfriend or girlfriend in no time, and then just be like love at first sight. Yeah, you in, a in a snap. In a snap. Exactly. No there are like so many movies from my experience I've watched I've grow, growing up I've watched a lot of Tamil movies Hindi movies so they glorify how exciting college life would be you know so the students will be dancing will be singing they'll be working out they'll be partying all night they do everything except studying so the first time I encountered <laughs> such movies I was really fooled 
you know, because when I was like, you know, growing up, I'm high school and I was like, okay, after high school, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna get like freedom. Till I got to the reality, my college life isn't like, you know, exactly rainbows and sunshine. <laughs> you won't be finding me dancing here and there, uh, singing to my heart's content. Rather, you find me trying to finish my assignments before the deadline. Like, I have one assignment, like, due 12 a.m. So I have to go finish that after we're done with this. <laughs> so that's how different college life is in movies and realities. Like in movies, it's either the guy or the girl. You know, they'll be fighting to get their love's attention. So they create a love triangle saga. But in reality, I don't see even a guy batting his eyes towards me. Like, the difference <laughs> is so bizarre. If you ask me, my parents always said to me, find boyfriend once you go to college, university, okay? And I'm just like, Okay, I expected like, you know, I would just get a boyfriend like, you know, snap, like, you know, have a glow up, do well in my studies, get a job, go overseas, yada, yada, yada. It all seems too good to be true, to be honest. <laughs> so here I am, I'm almost in my final year of diploma, no boyfriend, no glow up, still the potato I was last time, no job. Well, I, so, I, believe, I believe we are all potato here. Yeah, yeah. No, we're potatoes. Three potatoes. <laughs> Come find us. <laughs> potatoes. <laughs> potato family. Uh, actually, I do agree with you. I mean, assignments are seriously like never ending. Online classes are much more exhausting because we don't have assignments only. To be to be honest, we have uh, random homework, online tasks that have deadlines as well. Uh, sometimes things just like you know do not go the way you want it to but honestly uh, I'm not really uh, looking forward to having a boyfriend I mean uh, like you know this doesn't really fit in my day-to-day uh, -day life I don't know somehow isn't it different, just a waste yeah, of time yeah, anyway? different people have you know different expectations different preference to be honest what Naira said is true yeah you but have to manage your ex commitment Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. But we didn't expect, you know, life, uh, like uni university life, is going to be this hectic with all these assignments <laughs> and homework. So yeah, I, I've been yeah. tough with that. I, I, although I say I, like, I, 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 I might seem too desperate for a relationship, but at the same time, I might, I'd be like, I'm, I can't even finish my assignment on time. You, do you think I can <laughs> delegate time for another person? I can't even delegate time for my family members. Yeah, can they keep exactly. on scolding me? Exactly. <laughs> yeah. I, I really admire those who can like manage relationship and mm -hmm. do their assignments at the same time. It's like, yeah. wow. <laughs> I can't, I can't. <laughs> yeah, for now, not now, not now. <laughs> <laughs> but coming back, coming back. <laughs> we also have like clubs and societies and our universities, right? So since it's online, we don't get that much interaction in the clubs like we do like physically. So have you guys joined any clubs recently in our university? Actually, I did. I joined a club, a mass communication one. But you know, since it's all online and it's just way too exhausting and tiring, sometimes I just cannot keep up with all the tasks. Actually, I joined to enhance my communication skill but, and to socialize, etc. But yeah. It's not working as I thought it's going to be. No, you doing a great job. Yeah, I mean you're you're here on the show now, so yeah, yeah, but, but, you can sit, but I'm still nervous, and you can you can feel how much <laughs> how, how nervous I am. To be honest, we all are nervous. I'm, I'm making so many mistakes while talking. <laughs> Stumbling in words, you know, I, I make those awkward, like you know, breaking, and I'm just like, okay, okay, let's just, just you know, go with the flow, go with the flow. <laughs> yeah, but it's our first episode, so it's understandable. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. So actually, I have joined a club too. What now was in uh, physical physical classes that time, and I joined mm -hmm. the badminton club and a match club club gathering night in 2020. So it was way more fun than online to be honest and because you get to interact with the people directly like face to face and you get to play games together and also you get to know people easier there than online because you know online they don't open their mic sometimes and then mm -hmm. you can type on a chat box and then you don't get the interaction that you want yeah 
Yeah, yeah. To be honest, uh, coming back to what Sophia said, I can't relate to you, Sophia. Because <laughs> uh, for me, I didn't join any clubs or societies, uh, mainly due to it being online. So, and like what I said, I waited for a year. <laughs> Things didn't change and eventually I had no other choice than joining it online. So online has its own pros and cons, I would say. It's time flexible. Like I don't have to like physically move from one place to another if I'm having any meetings. And I don't have a, I don't have to open my camera so people won't see how horrible I look. <laughs> so if it was <laughs> offline, I probably have to like, you know, glam up myself before meeting up with them. But there are cons also, like I don't get to see people's genuine reaction. I don't feel the social interaction online. And it can get dreadful by just spending hours and hours sitting in front of the screen, especially when you have long meetings. Trust me when I say I'm really concerned about my eyes condition. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? And I feel like if we go back to campus, I will feel like I don't know how to communicate anymore. <laughs> I'm just joking, not completely can't communicate, right? I mean, like, it just feels weird because all this time you've been seeing their names on the screen and even if you haven't maybe haven't even, like, saw their faces before. And now you can see them physically and, like, wow, a human being in front of me! Ah, no more text! <laughs> true, some of them rather just tell, like, type it out because, you know, sometimes lecturer call them out and they don't sometimes they don't even open their mic as well so i'm just like okay are you alive or are you, are you a robot are you a bot <laughs> mm, are, are you there do i know you <laughs> it's, it's, yeah, those things happen a lot i would say so coming back to the topic so i can totally relate like for me myself i won't claim to be extrovert but people won't believe if i say i'm an introvert so i'm more in the middle like an ambivalent so for me, there would be times where I want to so meet up with people, you know, interact with them, create new memories. But at the same time, I don't want to socialize. I just want to sleep in my room. I just want to binge watch my idol's music videos and, you know, watch some funny reality shows. Like, in terms of college, I would actually die to see my college friends, to be honest, because we've gotten quite close, although uh, we got to know each other online. So I thought our first meetup would be like, you know, awkward and all that. But when we met for the first time, we spoke as if we knew each other for ages. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I totally relate to this, Sophia. I have no idea how I will communicate, but at the same time, communication online seems more of a nuisance to me. Like, in some ways, because I'm someone who needs to see people's reaction to know if they're invested in what I'm saying. I need to analyze their posture, their expression, etc. If not, I'll feel as if I'm being ignored. And I think many people will understand what I'm trying to say, especially yes. uh, maybe introverts. People. Yes. Introverted people. Because, you know, like, I can feel like how the feeling of being ignored is because, you know, it just don't feel right. Yeah. So for, yeah, yeah. So for me, I don't really classify myself as an introvert or an extrovert because I only react depending on how the mm. person is or when it's necessary. So I think I will only talk if I need to. And if I must say, which classification I am, I will say I'll be like popular as well in the middle, like I've been an MP bird as well. I will talk when I have to and I will not talk if I can. <laughs> so wow, yeah, I think we had a very great talk today and this is amazing seeing how different perspectives come around and having such an exciting talk, is it? <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely, I enjoy it. Hours. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we can go on for hours if it meant visibility, I believe. <laughs> well, so, I yeah. enjoyed too. Yay! Thank you guys. Thank you guys for enjoying. Well, this is our first talk show, and yep, I think this is the end of our Let's Talk. And see you guys next month. And we have more interesting stories waiting for you to hear. Stay tuned mm -hmm. and ciao! Bye bye! Bye bye! bye, -bye. See you next month!